Hey everyone, and welcome to Seesaw. We're so happy you're here to learn with us. This is going to be a tutorial for students to show you how you can use Seesaw to show your learning. Your teacher will show you or tell you how you, you will be entering your Seesaw account. You might be using a class code, a home learning code, or you might even be using your own email address. For this example, we're going to show you how to use the home learning codes. Your teacher will send your parent your home learning code. Your document will look very similar to this. You need to make sure you keep this document private. That way nobody else is able to use it. For this example, we're just using a sample teacher a student account. So the first thing you need to do is log into Seesaw using the URL or you need to install the Seesaw Class app on an Apple or Android device. From there, you need to choose I'm a student and then copy your own student home learning code into the box that shows text code. To show you that, I've logged into the Seesaw website. I'm going to click I'm a student. I'm going to paste that code right here and then press go. All right, so now you're logged into your Seesaw journal. My teacher has actually already added an activity for me to complete. So I can see that right here, I have one activity that I need to complete. And it pops up right here on the left hand side. So when you complete an activity, make sure you read the directions that your teacher provides. This example also includes audio instructions. To listen to the instructions, just click play instructions. Welcome to Seesaw. We're so glad that you're here to learn with us. To practice using Seesaw, we're going to do this first activity. First, tap the add button. Then use the drawing tool. If I continue listening to those instructions, it will actually tell me all of the directions that were included for this activity. Another aspect that this activity has is an example. So if I click right here on this image, it will show me an example of what my activity should look like. Hit the X. Now, to complete your activity, you are going to click on Add Response. This particular activity was created in the drawing feature of Seesaw, which is amazing. And there are so many different things that you can do to show your learning using the drawing feature. I'm just going to show you a few of those. So the first part of the activity that I need to complete is this is how I write my name. Now, maybe I forgot what the instruction said on how I need to write my name. To look at the instructions again, at the top it will say view instructions. It will show me all of the directions that were typed out. It will show me the audio version of the instructions and I can also look at the sample again. So I can see that I need to use the pencil tool to write my name. Now the pencil tools are down here at the bottom, but what's amazing is you can use more than just a pencil. You have a pencil, a pen, a highlighter, this is a fun writing tool, and also an eraser. So I'm gonna check out this fun writing tool. You can change the color over here on the right hand side. Maybe I want my name to be red. So my first name is Samantha, so I'm gonna put my nickname, Sam. S-A-M. Now, let's say you accidentally made a mistake. To erase it, you just hit the eraser and you can erase it and it disappears. All right, so the next part of this activity is to add a picture of me. Now, you could use one of these amazing drawing features if you're a great artist, or you could use the camera feature. So if you click on the camera, you have two choices. You can actually take a photo or you can upload a photo that is already on your device. For this example, I'm going to take a photo using my camera. Smile. And then I press the camera button to take the picture. Now let's say I didn't like it, it was a little bit blurry and I want to do it again. You just click the three dots and click delete. And we'll try it one more time. Hit the camera, hit photo. Smile for the camera. 
and I'm happy with that photo. To change the size of the photo, click on the corner and you can make it larger or smaller. If you need to rotate your photo for any reason, you just move the arrow. There are more options. If you click the three dots, you can make the photo go to the front or back. You can also lock it to where it stays in place and it does not move. If you want to add text but you don't want to write it yourself, you can go over here and use the label. So hit the T to add text. So I am 32 years old. Now, to add text, you just type whatever you need to and then click outside of the text box. And then you are able to drag the text wherever you want it to go. Now, I can see that my text box is rather large and it's actually covering part of the, the sentence. So I'm gonna edit it a little bit more. So click on the three dots and then go to style. I can change the style of my text. You can also change the background so that it's more transparent and you cannot see any part of it. And then I can click outside of it. So the next part I need to complete is this is my favorite color. So you could easily use one of the drawing tools or you can use a shape, which I'm going to show you next. So over on the left hand side, click the three dots and then click shapes. From here, you can see all of the different shapes that Seesaw has provided to you. My absolute favorite are the place value blocks because I'm a math teacher. All right, so I'm gonna choose a shape that I would like to use and then I'm going to move it to the area that I would like it to go. And then from here, I'm going to change the color to my favorite, purple. But you know guys, I have two favorite colors. So I'm actually going to add another shape and I'm going to move it down here and I'm going to make it blue. So I was able to do that by moving the color uh, to the color that I would like it to be. And then I can click out of it. So if you are not finished, but you have something that you have to go do, uh, what you can do is you can actually save it as a draft. So I'm going to click draft and it's going to save it. It's not going to send it to my teacher quite yet because I'm not finished with it. Then when you're ready to log back into your seesaw and finish your activity, you're going to click edit. Now you're able to continue working on your activity. The last feature I'd like to show you in the drawing feature of Seesaw is the ability to add audio on top of any photo or any drawing. To add your own audio, on the left hand side, you'll click the microphone. Record in three, two, one. This is how I write my name, Sam. This is a picture of me. I am 32 years old. Shh, don't tell anyone. This is my favorite color, purple and blue. Once you're finished with your audio recording, you are going to click done. If you want to re-record, you just hit this button right here in the center that says re-record. To listen to your recording, you can press play. But if you are finished with your entire activity, you are going to hit the check. There, it's going to get to sent to your teacher and your teacher will be able to approve it uh, on the teacher seesaw account. All right, so now that I have finished that activity, it goes directly into my journal. And so any family members that I have connected to my journal will actually get a notification so that they are able to see what I did on that activity as well. You can also like different activities or journal posts, and you can also leave a comment. You can also leave an audio comment if you prefer to do that as well. Another aspect that students will need to make sure you look at is your inbox. So your inbox is really important because your teachers might send you some messages. So this is where you go to check your messages. I don't have any new messages. If there was a new message, there would be a little red box and it would show a number and that shows 
how many messages that I need to look over. Also, another thing, on activities, if I click on class activities, it will show me all of the different activities that I have completed. When I click on waiting for response, that just means it's an activity that I do need to complete. All right, I'm gonna head back to journal. Now that we've returned to your journal, I'm gonna show you six different ways you can show your learning. At the top, you will see a green add button. Click on that. From here, you have six ways to post your work. Your first option is to take a photo using your camera to add to your Seesaw journal, just like we added the photograph of myself into the drawing. The second way to post your work is by adding a drawing, which is what we were using for the activity previously. Next, you can add a video of yourself reading or a video of your learning environment or however else you would like to show your learning to upload to your journal. The next option is to upload. You can upload photos, videos, PDFs, or even files directly from your Google Drive. Next, you can add a note. Here, you could write a story or a summary of your learning, hit the check mark, and that will be added to your Seesaw journal. Finally, you can add any link from any website that is school appropriate to your journal to share with your teacher. So those are six different ways that you can add to your Seesaw journal. To log out of your Seesaw journal in the top left hand corner, you click on your name and then you can click on the gear and press sign out. To sign back in, you will use the same home learning code that you used from the beginning. These home learning codes will be good for 90 days. Once those 90 days are up, your teacher will just need to give you a new home learning code. I'm so thankful that you are able to show your learning with me. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your teacher.